when it comes to insurance, you should definitely ask for a copy of their certificate. Uh, you could potentially have your own insurance agent review that certificate because he might have different standards than their policy. So if we have $2 million policy and your agent says, well, we'd really like him to have five because the house you're building is on a million and a half dollar lot and you're putting $3 million into it. So what good is his $2 million policy? So it's another eye to review your uh, insurance agent will likely ask that you are named on their policy as well, which just gives you a additional level of coverage. So next item being WSIB. This is indeed another insurance. People often say WSIB, workplace safety and regular insurance, why do they need both? What is the difference? So the difference is the insurance on the company is going to help protect you as a house and your house, sorry. The WSIB is going to protect me and all of my workers on my side. So somebody's getting hurt, they're protected, they're getting paid. It's no different than I'm sure every company that you guys work for are all also WSIB registered. However, WSIB costs money. So a lot of people don't register for it or falsely report, uh, report on it and are not in good standings. So you can actually ask for they used to issue certificates they don't issue certificates anymore for residential projects they only issue them for commercial and industrial but you can always take a uh, screenshot of the customer or sorry of your contractors homepage at WSIB they'll have their own separate login they can log in and right at the top on the left hand side it'll say Southview Homes Inc WSIB number da 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 da, da and it'll say in good standing eligible for certificates if it doesn't say eligible for certificates it means that he is not paid up to date or he hasn't reported in the last three months because we are required to report quarterly so a quick little aside on this we quoted a job it was just a, a master bathroom not too much of a big deal customer was really happy with our ideas and our thought process and then you know Fast forward 48 hours later, we provided them with a quote and she said, mm, well, I got a quote for somebody else and they're about 20% cheaper. And I said, I'm, I'm sorry, at 20%, there's no way that, that I can, you know, negotiate a, a, a value change there. It's, it's just way too much. Like if you told me they were, you know, 2% less, I'd, I'd say, let's have a look at it, but 20%, there's, there's no way that I've, I've made that much of a mistake. Six months later, the same customer calls me again and says, so we need you to do the bathroom. And I said, oh, I'm surprised. I thought it would have been done. I, you know, I didn't hear from you. She goes, well, even though we're a townhome, we are part of a condo corporation which means that they needed to approve any contractor working in the area because there are common elements that are affected by anybody's unit. So when they went to register the other contractor, he was not insured. So if anything happened to the facade, he couldn't pay for it. And he didn't have WSIB, which means any of his workers that would be hurt wouldn't be compensated and wouldn't be able to recover from their injuries while being paid from the work suffered incident. So basically he was not allowed to work on the job 